a moat cracker in my soup. Monkeys and rabbits lick the loop. Gosh, oh gee, but I have fun swallowing animals one by one. Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today for voting video number 192 in the Incredible Mandela Effect voting video series. Today we're talking about animal crackers. And I've got some from the supermarket today, here they are, Barnum's Animal Crackers. They've got a little handle on the top, which is... And if you didn't know, that string was for hanging them on the Christmas tree, which is what it was designed for. 115 years, Barnum's Animals Crackers have been around. Just one little problem. Barnum's Animal Crackers. That's right. Barnum's Animal Crackers is what I always knew them as. Look at the history here. And we see that animal biscuit cookies were made, distributed under the National Biscuit Company banner. In 1902, animal crackers officially became known as Barnum's Animals and evoked the familiar circus theme of the Barnum and Bailey Circus. So, I've always known these crackers since I was a little kid as Barnum's Animal Crackers by Nabisco. But clearly are Barnum's Animals. So, <laughs> they've always been Barnum's Animals Crackers. And I guess maybe they got the S from Sally Fields or Christopher Reeves. Um, not sure. Here we have some old newspapers, Barnum's Animal Crackers, you know, clearly says animals, always has. They're being advertised as Barnum's Animal Crackers. Thumb this video up if you remember Barnum's Animal Crackers. Go ahead and thumb it down if they've always been Barnum's Animal Crackers for you. Barnum's Animal Crackers here on oldtimecandy.com. Another newspaper, let's see what year this, 1999 newspaper, Barnum's Animal Crackers. Here they are here, Barnum's Animal Crackers. A little bit of reality residue for you. More than a year and a half. Mandela Effect's been driving me crazy, and there's still no one who really has a good explanation for what's going on. And it's, it's quite funny, the people who say, I, I continue to get numerous comments daily, that there's nothing happening. <laughs> now, maybe for you, buddy, but certainly something happened for me and a lot of other people I know that are watching this video right now. Barnum's Animals Crackers. So we got Barnum's Animal Crackers being advertised here. That person remembers them like I do. We have a book here. Biscuit Company officially introduced the most popular brand still known today, Barnum's Animal Crackers, named after P.T. Barnum. There's one good article here that's Nabisco Barnum's Animal Crackers. There they are here, Barnum's Animals. Which makes more sense. I mean, they're, they're, you know, there's more than one different animal in there, so... This is not about making sense, as some people don't understand them in dull effect. It's not about what makes sense. It's about what it was in our memories, and we have conscious memories of certain things that just aren't that way and never have been in this reality, and that's very difficult for some people to deal with, initially for myself as well, but once you get used to it and you realize something's gone on, I mean, why else would it be Nabisco Barnum's Animal Crackers trademark? Okay, really? This is the trademark without the S? Okay, here's the game. We have the trademark game here. Interesting. So that's about it. Just a quick video. Trying to work on another video. Maybe we can get it out tonight. Uh, been extremely busy. Working, you know, some 18-hour days and just extremely busy time of the year right now for me. So not a lot of time for these videos, but they're going to continue to come out. I'm going to con there – there are thousands of changes. There's so many things that don't match my memory. I, I can't. I just have to pick and choose the ones that affect me the most because 
Now, I feel like I'm in a whole different place. I know a lot of other people do as well, too. And those not experiencing the phenomenon, they just can't understand it. That's fine. You know, I, I don't know what to tell them. They can, they can just continue to think there's nothing going on. Um, maybe they'll get hit with it at some point. Maybe after 923, you know, another transitional point in the awakening. Who knows? Maybe some more people will be hit with it. I keep seeing videos of people that are just in shock because now when you get hit with the Mandela effect, you get hit with tons of stuff all at once. When I got hit with it, it was the Looney Tunes, you know, is it it Luke, I am your father, JC Penny, you know, uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Those, those ones that so many people have covered. There were the main 10, we'll call them. I mean, I got hit with those. My son threw a handful of them at me and just blew my mind why, how I got all this stuff wrong. He kept asking me, well, what's this? And who's this? How do you say this? And how do you spell this? And I just got it all wrong. Blew my mind. But now, I mean, all the stuff that's come forward, the songs, the geography, the everything. I remember when someone said, go look at the map. And I just like was blown away by what is this? I mean, it didn't match what I had known and learned my whole life. But now when you get hit with the Mandela effect, if you're really experiencing it, the rabbit hole goes so deep, thanks to people like myself and others who have made hundreds and hundreds of videos. I feel sorry for people getting hit with it now. So it's gotta be overwhelming. But you know, if you're someone who just is finding out about all this, you know, it gets easier, you realize something's gone on and then, you know, life goes on, but this never goes away. I'm sorry, it just never will never will go away um you just got to learn to deal with it because those of us who are experiencing it we know that something's gone on it's just not misremembering you know when you misremember something here's a good example i was making a video and i said uh lost treasure nicholas cage movie i believe that's the name of it and i and i meant to say the da vinci code because i was talking about the mona lisa and i said lost treasure or uh, yeah i can't even remember the name of it so but that's a good example also is if I was to hear it right now, I'd go, oh, yeah, that's it. I'm misremembering it. So when someone pointed it out and said, hey, you meant the Da Vinci Code. And I'm like, yes, I did. I misremembered the name of the movie. You're correct. I, I, that was a misremembering. That's what it is. I, I said the wrong thing. I misremembered. With the Mandela Effect, you, you see J.C. Penny, and they're like, uh, that was J.C.P.E.N.N.Y. And, and they're like, no, it's always been E.Y. You're misremembering. Okay, uh, there's no memory in my noggin of EY. It's not, I'm not misremembering because if you point out that no, there there always was an E, I would say, oh yeah, I misremembered that. There, I, I remember now. It's always an E. This is not misremembering. This is so funny. These people that aren't experiencing the phenomenon who say, oh, you and millions of others all misremembered the same exact thing. Uh, okay, and whatever i mean it's just ridiculous the the whole confabulation and misattribution of memory and cognitive <laughs> illusions and all this stuff oh the brain is so fallible memory is so fallible you know you just had a few too many beers and you just misremembered it incorrectly really i mean people with those types of comments they have no idea what they're talking about it's so hilarious and that's why i've pointed out a few of these individuals as like comedic relief because it's, this is a difficult thing for us to deal with and people don't understand that. This is such a hard thing. Reality has shifted and changed and continues to do so and other people are saying, oh, nothing's happening. You just can't remember things correctly. And then, you know, they come up with some bogus thing like, oh, you had a few too many beers and you just couldn't remember that Sally Fields has always been Sally Field. Uh, okay, really? No, she never was. She always had Ness on her name my entire life. And I go ask my mom, she's like, yeah, Sally Fields, right? And I'm like, no, mom, always Sally Fields. I mean, my mom shares a lot of the same memories, so at least I could talk to her. Other family members, I can't talk to. And I know a lot of you can't talk to very many people. This is a very difficult thing, but it's very real and it's happening. And so, you know, we'll just continue forward. I'm gonna continue documenting my memories with these voting videos and, it, and at some point, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe of doing a video where I, I put like 10 comments of the most popular theories because I want to know what people are thinking now after all this time. And then you can uh, thumb up whichever 
theory, you know, you go along with the most. And we can see how many theories gets the most thumbs ups. And then we'll put, you know, maybe a group of uh, two, three theories, three or four